Hello everyone, welcome back to my tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to take a mesh from iPerl mesh to Salomeca. So for, uh, for to show the example, I have created bearing block mesh. So this is the X mesh I have created using iPerl mesh. What I'm going to do you, uh, I'm going to solve using Salomeca. So here this is my solid mesh and this one is the surface mesh this both mesh i'm going to take so whatever the element group or node group you want to take just go to um, analysis there is an option called entity sets we just create the ent entity set from that we can take the groups so i have created two entity sets here you can see so one is the node entity set this is a node set so this one is the node set here i'm going to fix it and another one is the element set here i'm going to apply a pressure this is you can see it here i'm going to apply a pressure this two entity set I have created the same element also I am going to export it so now we will export this mesh to Salomeca just go to file there is an option called export so go to solver deck here in file type there are different options are available choose custom and in template just click it here go to template in this template just a few output if you in a few output there is an option called HM in that HM Uh, yes in FE output there is an option called ideas just select this ideas here choose ideas here you can see in template FE output ideas choose the ideas this file and this one is the your file where you want to export you just select this file I just want to export this into In desktop I have created a mesh here I'm going to create one new mesh new folder static analysis so here I'm going to export it this is actually a bearing block dot unv just name it like this just save it here you can see now whatever displayed I just want to export it you just select this export now we can see it has finished now we can check the folder this is the mesh static analysis so this is a mesh file i have exported from hypermesh now we will take this mesh to and salomeca now i have already opened it to salomeca mesh module just go to file there is option called import unv now just navigate this folder to desktop mesh static analysis just select this file just open it now we have op we have opened the mesh file here just select this bearing block mesh go to mesh and compute now you can see we have created a volume mesh of 10402 and we have 238 surface mesh now just close it now this is a mesh we have created now we can rotate this also now mesh we have imported without any error now just so this is the node group we have created one is node set another one is surface here you can see there is a space between there is a huge space in node node sets and surface just double click here remove these spaces now i have removed this space here also just remove it so now it is correct now 
<coughs> now we can take this mesh for analysis just save this file now i have saved it now just go for aster study to create the set now we are in the aster study just say okay now what we are going to do we are going to use a wizard to create the setup so first i am going to do le isotropic linear elasticity just next just next next this is in the unit of uh, meter just keep whatever it is now i just want to fix the node set here we cannot choose node set just dummy setup we just do it 0 and 0 and 0 next here I, we just want to apply the pressure choose the surface 1 e power 5 now we will save this file in the same static analysis research.rmad just finish it now we can see it here we have created a dummy setup now we will modify this setup mesh read mesh is correct one now model it is a uh, 3d mechanic model now go to material material data is also correct we have assigned the material to the complete model now go to boundary condition first we need to fix the node groups so here just go here edit so here instead of element group just go to node group edit choose the node set just say ok again say ok just apply it now we can see node set is chosen here now just say ok now we have fixed it here now we just want to apply the pressure here so there is an option called pressure rep just edit this one so same element group this is correct this is in order to modify now go to results this is actually a mechan static so now we'll save this file after doing analysis we just want to calculate the stress also go to post processing call champ criteria so use sigma l no and sigma node here saeq l no and saeq node that's it model and material just just make it tick just apply it there is an option called reuse the input object just click it here just apply and ok now same name it has created the calc champ also now we just want to edit the output edit In result instead of salamaca just choose calc champ here tau champ make it yes just save ok then apply and ok now we have done the setup now we will solve this case using codaster now just save the file go to history view just click this plus button make it 5 second i'm just increasing this into 4048 just run it if any error comes it will show it here we just want to check the error then we need to modify it now see there is a error in codaster just scroll down here what error it is now see modi mileage command is required to apply the surface normals so that is it's coming in just just copy it translate just put here in the surface mesh group there are 238 poorly oriented meshes use the command of modi mileage to orient the normal to the surface so what we just want to do is modi mileage command we have to use so just select this mesh go to mesh here again here there, there is option called modi mileage so reuse the input object here there is option called ori face not edit it 
select the element of surface say ok here also choose the surface say ok just ok it then you just apply it and save ok now we have done the modi mileage now we will save this file now go to history view just select the previous failed case now select this ca current case then just run it just wait for a while it will show if any error comes in the message file again it is showing error same thing is coming just edit it just this is just unticket just say ok just apply it and save ok now done now we will run this case again just run it yes now it is sorted without any error now you can see it here also so code aster exit with zero code and there is no error this is just just a simple alarm so now it is sorted properly now we will go for post processing using paravis just right click this build in now just go to desktop start static analysis choose the result.rmd file just save okay now you can see it all the results are coming here just apply it now just choose the displacement so this is the displacement value to see the color pattern in blue to red choose rainbow blue to red just apply it and close it now again click it here this is just make it 12 and apply it so this is the displacement pattern for our load case now we will check the stress value so equal and stress go here one vs stress so this is the one vs stress data now same thing will convert this into a blue to red color rainbow and this is just making it to 12 so this is the one vs stress data this one is the stress car value similarly if you want to change the uh, background color gradient background so this is the gradient background so we will take the picture like this here now we have completed this tutorial by creating a xmesh using hypermesh and exporting that same mesh into unifile format then importing that particular mesh into a salameca then solving the static analysis problem using the same mesh now we have completed this tutorial Thank you for watching my videos. Please subscribe my channel for more videos. Thank you.